Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on Pro ATCX. Today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to add a specific aircraft to Pro ATCX aircraft database. As you know that Pro ATCX comes with its default aircraft list and some of the aircrafts are listed there, some of the aircrafts are not. One of the aircraft which is missing in the previous versions of Pro ATCX is the Dreamliner which is called 787-8 and 787-9. So I figured up a way where you can add up that aircraft into the database. I'll go step by step on how you can add a specific aircraft to the database. As you can see I've just uh, recently upgraded my Pro ATCX from 1.8.7 to 1.9.2.5 so this is the latest version of Pro ATCX and yes in this update they have actually added the Dreamliner the 787-8 they have added it to the database uh, I'll show you my database here so yes this is going this is my database the updated one and here if you see you have the Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner which is added by default by Pro ATCX developers. I have added this 787-9 was not there it was still missing so I added this with the help of Google I went on to modify all the specifications for the aircraft but for this tutorial because most of the users are still using the Pro ATCX previous version that is 1.8.7 and 1.8.7.9 so I'm going to show you how exactly do you add Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner into your database by your own so for that you will require um, some help from Google because you will be needing uh, specifications for that particular aircraft so let's get started uh, I'll just close down this window and I'll open this notepad as you can see here I have all the specification that is related to 787-8 Dreamliner and each and every aspects of uh, Dreamliner is listed here uh, I've uh, uh, researched a lot uh, I have gone through many websites on Google found out uh, what kind of uh, VR V1 speed does uh, 787-8 follow and all that kind of stuff you can find the same thing um, as you want to or else the best way to do it is I have my aircraft database uh, XML file put up onto a Google Drive and I'll be sharing a link with you all the updated database of mine which you can then take it and uh, download it you once you download you will get an aircraft data file uh, I'll show you how it looks. So if you go into Pro ATCX and if you go into import, you will have this this file. So I'm going to share this file with you, guys. This is an XML document, and you need to uh, download this uh, XML file. Uh, it will come into your download folder or whatever folder you are using for Google Chrome. You need to extract this file from the zip, and then you need to put this file into Pro ATCX import directory that's all you need to do if you are not actually worried about adding the specifications by yourself like this one like what I have done for 787-8 so if you do not want to go into Google and then search for each and every specifications of this you can just download my file and then put it into your Pro ATCX for now I'll just show you the longer method which is adding it manually so you need to go into data you need to go into aircraft and click on new aircraft here it, it asks you which kind of an aircraft you want to add we want to add a Boeing so Boeing is what I select from the drop down list or the manufacturer list type in 787-8 dream liner you need to type in the name of the uh, aircraft that you actually want to add now these are the details or these are the specification numbers that you need to Google 
and find out on your own what kind of a max cruise altitude does uh, 787-8 follows oh, decent rate below flight level 100 and all this stuff you get it on google i have this stuff here i have this stuff here and i what i have done is i have just uh, pasted this into their respective columns or respective fields and then these these are the sliders so if you i'll just take this example if, uh, if you go into this see here tailwind allowed on takeoff landing is five knots so here it is five knots crosswind allowed if you see is 45 knots so you need to just slide this take it to 45 knots that's it v1 vr and v2 speeds here are they 135 155 and 165 this is the speeds for 787-8 and uh, you need to put in here you have to just adjust the sliders 145 so 145 and then the other 135 and all checklist not that important but yes um, very much important if you're following a checklist before start after start checklist if you're following so in our case we are using a boeing and for boeing all the checklist will be same for airbus it will be definitely same so if you're adding an airbus says 380 to this aircraft list you need to select airbus because uh, by default it gives you just two because they are the standard uh, aircraft checklist available so for airbus you select airbus for boeing you select boeing so on our case it's boeing so just boeing 737-700 you select save it and you will have the aircraft listed like this here it is this is the longest method and the easiest method that i told you is you just have to download my file from the google drive link paste it into your pro atc x import directory and then you just need to click here import from file it will take you to the default directory of pro atc x import select this file click on open and you will have all these there you will have all this aircraft which i have you will have this list of aircrafts accommodated into your list right so have fun guys and uh, i hope this helps you to add new aircraft it helps you to update your list of aircrafts um some some of them who are doing a tutorial some of them who wants who has a 787-8 but cannot use pro atcx because it it's not listed in the aircraft menu now you have it now you have it and then you click on save and um, this will get updated and that's it guys that's a very quick tutorial from my side uh, this is sam i'm signing off thank you so much